What's good guys, Polly Popo here, and what I want to show you guys today, and what the main question is on the one-on-one -on -one tutorials that I do, is how do you get audio into uh, the MPC from a synthesizer, but while you're in controller mode. So I'm going to show you both, how to do it in standalone mode and in controller mode. Um, let's get right into it. I'm going to try to do this in less than 10 minutes, and uh, like I say, it's been a, a really, really highly requested uh, question so if you guys want to if you guys have any other questions leave them in the comments and I'll make a video for you too um, other than that let's jump right in here and check this out all right so right off the get-go we're gonna be using the Akai uh, advanced 49 the MPC live 2 and then I'm gonna be using the model sculpt I have used the model sculpt to do my latest expansion pack. You can find that at 8barbeats.com. I've worked really hard on it, and uh, I'd appreciate you guys stopping by. Right now, what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the MPC. This is hooked up USB. It's going to power this and my Akai. And what I'm saying, I got this hooked up with a USB cable going straight into the back of the MPC. And then the other USB cable going into my sculpt. Right now you can't hear anything. I'm going to go standalone. Very much standalone. And I also want to go over computer specs that you might want to consider. Uh, my guy down there. I'll show you the specs that I'm running on my computer. And it would definitely help you out because the last thing you want to do is be running Windows 10 and then um, try to run a bunch of plugins or something like that and then you not be able to. I don't know what just happened but that better not happen again. So we're going to right click here. Go to system. This kind of way you want to be looking at whenever you're doing your system these 16 gigabytes these specifications will definitely run your MPC uh, software very very smooth so what we're gonna do here is go ahead and open up my MPC software so you got empty project We got an empty project here, and I'm going MIDI out A, MIDI out A, and that's going in to my model sculpt. So anything that I, my MIDI channel right here, go to my MIDI, and I'm on port A, a one and you can't hear anything. You have to go to audio track and you can see my audio tracks coming in as my voice. This is coming in and ain't nothing coming in. Now if I hit in and I turn on my speaker now when I go back to MIDI That's set in MIDI A. These are your octaves. I'm playing that set. If I change the sound right here, it's going to change over here. Right on, guys. I really hope that helps. Um, when you're in controller mode, what this is going to do is going to bring you up here. I need you guys to see this. It's going to bring you here. And the first thing you do is you select your ASIO. Um, the MPC Live 2 drivers aren't working for me. So I'm using uh, my Fruity Loops driver. As long as you hit this, 
and you get t and you get sound, you should be fine. And your MIDI sync and all that. Let's put this in here in controller mode. Bear with me here. Like I said, just I don't like to use controller mode at all. I can't stand using controller mode, but it is the other half of your MPC. So you got master. I click all this on, okay? I want my advanced, all this stuff pops on. Right now it's all off. Click it all on. Turn these on. Make sure your audio is ASIO Fruity Loops. You hit test, you get a sound, you're good. So I have headphones on right now, but just to show you, I'll unplug the TV. And when I hit this, it shows that I'm hitting it, right? And the little meter's jumping, but I'm still not getting any volume. What you need to do is go over to your audio track. Make sure it's armed. And down here, it says input one, two. You want to make sure that this says in. When you have it in, now you'll get... You'll get your sound. Why it's not letting me... Oh. Program. MIDI port. MIDI port 1. I hope that helped, but uh, let me mute this. I got so much stuff going on guys, but I just had to make a quick video about that. Um, I just got a new computer. Read the specs on that because you're going to want to get... It's in the price range, okay? The MPC Live, I've honestly, I've had so many issues with it that um, I, I kind of like it, actually. I don't, I, I don't mind it one bit, but if you're just getting into music and you put it into software, like whenever you're looking for your sounds, they look like this. Like, like, like what is that? Like my drum sounds. Some of this stuff doesn't work right. See how that doesn't light up? Like on my MPC X, I turn on my X, I go right in here, and I can I can see everything. Come on, baby, don't be mad at me because I was using the live now. So what I'm saying is, this is a whole lot more stable for some reason. I don't know. I've never had the issues that the MPC Live has been throwing at me. Like even right here, the square. See how it's it highlights it, right? The F9 expansions, all that stuff. These preview on my live, they look like this. And when I hit my buttons, they don't preview. I'm saying it's so weird, but. Uh, you know, it's just, the sounds are still there. It's just a little weird. It's weird. But, like, again, I said, I use mine as standalone. I go back into standalone mode. Remember, just click your AS, ASIO drivers, and you'll be good. These arrows, file, edit, preferences. And if you're looking for your plugins, here's where you find those too. But your audio, ASIO, I use Fruity Loops, ASIO, it works better for me. MIDI sync, everything. My plugins, I scan my whole C drive, and anything that you downloaded from the Akai site will show up there. And then it'll pop in in your expansion. But in standalone mode, I have no issues. Everything works great. I have no problems. It just looks greater, better on the MPC X, I believe. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, powerhouse, everything goes in hot to my X and then goes into my MPC Live. So that's kind of how I'm using that right now.
Right on, guys. I'm Polly Popo, and uh, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. And again, I just wanted to drop that video real quick because uh, it's important, and a lot of people want to know how to hook up their external synths. So there you go. Uh, one more thing. If you are uh, using, like, eight bars, you know, that's an eight-bar beat. Most songs start with eight bars. Um, you know, just... When you when you see your audio files and everything, and you see uh, when you bounce down to audio, if you instead of put eight bars, put it to sixty four, and it'll allow you to uh, arrange it a little bit easier. Me, I copy my sequences. I don't draw them out like that, but I'll get into that in another video. But this one, I just wanted to make sure you knew how to get sound out of your MPC and how to get sound out of your MPC software. But um, I'll talk to you guys later.